Hello friends, welcome to Coding Simplified. In last tutorial, we saw about the single dimensional array, and today we'll see about the multi dimensional array. So, multi dimensional array means which has more than one dimensional, for example, which has grid. Uh, so, like in two dimensional array, we have grids. So, grids means we have rows and then columns. So, elements are divided into rows and columns, right. So you can say suppose if we have the three rows and in each row we have around four elements so it means 12 element overall contains in that array right so first we'll go to the double dimensional array so double dimensional array is declared as so this is a way how we declare it double dimension double dimensional array so here a is double dimensional array and now this is how we define the array so here we need to uh, note down the important point that in the first column we say this is the number of rows this double dimensional array contains right so here in this case a is the error of three rows and this is number of element which is in the each row right so overall we can say and that a is a double dimensional array which is of three rows and each row contains four element right similarly we can also define in the same line so this is also a valid point right so uh, this is same as these two lines right and now we need to assign the values so let's say we have um, let's declare it a so double dimensional array are very important for the matrix right because matrices are the combination of rows and columns so let's say uh, we need to we need to define an array or of matrix of 3 by 3 so we are taking a symmetric matrix where we have three column and each row contains three elements so for that we need two for loops so first we'll declare first we will define the rows okay so now the important point is again that a dot length a dot length represent the number of rows this array contains right so if you if you print this so let me first comment this and then we will see it again so if you run this program this will give me three because this array contains three rows right but if i print the number of the rows and then length then this will give me the number of element that row contains right because a0 means the first row right so if you run this program this will give me three so let's take it four so if you run this program so the first row contains four element right because uh, this is a symmetric array so obviously the uh, all row contains the same element so even if you give the third row which is a2 it will give you the four element right so uh, now we come to the matrix thing so a dot length gives the number of rows so i plus plus and then then you can give the a i dot length so basically i dot length will give the, the number of element in that row now give the ai then aj and then let's say assign the i plus j right so in this case i am assigning the each values by i plus j so the addition of rows and columns index right and similarly you can also print the values here so ai then j and let's remove the ln So if you run this program then this will give me the 
matrix right even you just comment this then it will look little good yeah so this is a, a symmetric matrix or uh, no this is not symmetric matrix now because uh, it is of three rows and four columns but if you change it to three by three then it is symmetric matrix and if you run this program then this will give you zero one two one two three two three one right so this is the best example of double dimensional array another way also of declaring the matrix or initializing the matrix right so first remove this and then let's say we have this array a matrix and you want to initialize the matrix so uh, let's say in first row so this is how we declare so let's say in first row we have these element now in second row we have these element three four five and in third row we have six then fifth twelve then forty five right so this is how we initialize a matrix like this in double dimensional array so this represent the in columns it represent the first matrix the first rows right and this represent the second row and this represent the third row right so this is if we define properly fine so this is a perfect way of initializing and if you want to print the values then similar way if you, you can do the same like a dot length then i plus plus and then 4 int j equals to 0 then i sorry j less than sorry a i dot length then j plus plus right and now so a i j Ln right so this is all done if you run this program this will give me the values printed values right so friends this is all about the double dimensional array and now we'll go to the triple dimensional array right so like the way we have defined the double dimensional array same way we will declare and define the triple dimensional array so let's say this is the way we declare even we can declare like this like a can be here similarly a can be here so these things also happen in the double dimensional array for example this is also valid then this is also valid then even if you come this is this is also a valid thing right so as we are going through the triple dimensional array so that's it and now for defining you can say new int so let's say 2 then 3 then 4 okay so now we'll understand these indexes so this index represents the number of double dimensional array in the three dimensional array right and this represent the number of rows in each dimensional each double dimensional array and this represent the number of elements so in all we can say in this array three dimensional array we have two double dimensional array and each double dimensional array contains three rows and each row contains four element right so it has the uh, length variable also so when you press the a don't length so it gives you the number of double dimensional array in that three dimensional array so if you run this program it will give you two right but if you print a i dot length so let's say this then this gives you then this gives the number of rows in the as we are taking the first double dimensional array so run this program this will give you three right but if you say a zero so the first double dimensional array then first row then length then this will give you, you the four so we have two double dimensional array 
and the first double dimension arrays row contains three rows and each row contains four element right so this is how we define the three dimensional array and we are not going to the assigning the values as the as we can use the three for loop and then we can assign right so this is as same as the double dimensional array so uh, friends this is all about the multi-dimensional array and in next tutorial we'll see the important jacked array so jacked array means which are not symmetric right like in this case you can see that each row contains the same element each double dimensional array contains the same rows but in jacked array we can have the varying size right like we can have uh, two dimensional array where one dimensional array contains the three rows but other double dimensional contains the four rows and like if we have three rows then one row contains the two element other row is containing the four element then third row is containing the five element like so uh, this we will learn in the new tutorial and for this you can also uh, find more information on the coding simplified so thanks friend for watching the video and thank you